Okay, so first of all, I want to delete the top triangle in this table, and I'm going to do that using conditional formatting. In the first row, I only want to be able to see one cell, the first cell, so I'm going to put the number one here. In the second row, I only want to be able to see two numbers, the first and the second one, so I'm going to put the number two here. In the third row, I only want to be able to see these three cells here, so I'm going to put three here. And you can see as we go down the rows, the number of cells that we want increases by one each time. So I can put one in here, then hold down control and drag till the bottom of the table. Now I'm going to practice the formula that I'll use in the conditional formatting down here, and it's going to be equals count, then click the topmost left-handed cell and type in a colon and this automatically fills in the second cell reference to be the same as the first cell reference and in my case I want the second cell reference to be a relative reference but the first cell reference to be an absolute reference so I'm going to press F4 to insert the dollar signs just in front of the column letter and then close brackets and enter and at the moment I get the number one because it's only counting one cell but if I drag this formula across the number increases by one each time and that is because as the dollar sign is in front of the column letter. It continues to look in this column as I drag the formula across. But as the second cell reference is a relative reference, it changes as I drag the formula across. So for this formula, it's counting every cell in the top row and is giving me the number seven. I am now going to drag this formula down seven rows and you can see that in the first column they are all number ones and in the second column all number twos etc and that is because as I only have the dollar sign in front of the column letter and not the row number the row number changes as I drag the formula down now I'm going to compare these numbers here with these numbers here and I'm going to check to see whether the count of the cells is greater than this number here and I want it to continue looking in this column as I drag the formula across but I want it to change the row it's looking in as I drag the formula down so I am going to again press F4 to insert the dollar signs just in front of the column letter and enter and then drag the formula across and then down and now it has changed everything to true and false values I'm going to highlight the middle diagonal line in this table to make it easier for you to see that the top triangle in this table is all true values and the bottom triangle in this table is all false values and that is because if I am here I am comparing the count of these cells which is two and I am asking is this greater than three here and two is not greater than three so I get a false value However, if I'm here, I am looking at the count of the cells, which is four, and I'm saying, is this greater than three? And four is greater than three, so I get a true value. Now that I have my formula the way I want it, I'm going to go into the top most left-handed cell of the table and highlight the formula and copy it and then press escape to get out of this cell then highlight the whole of this table making sure to start in the topmost left-handed cell 
then go to home and conditional formatting and new rule and use a formula to determine which cells to format then I'm going to use control V to paste the formula in here and it will format values where this formula is true and we know from the testing that we did down here it's only going to be true for the top triangle of this table so that is the only place where it will apply this formatting and the formatting that I'm going to use is to change the font to white as the cell background is also white, this will make the numbers invisible. And OK, and OK again. And now you can see the numbers have disappeared. If I click in one of these cells, the numbers are still there as they appear in the formula bar. We just can't see them in the table. There is a limitation of this, which is that if the cell background changes color we can then see the text as the text is white so there is a variation of this method I'm going to go back to conditional formatting and manage rules and edit rule and I'm going to change the formatting instead of changing the font color this time I'm going to change the number formatting I'm going to use custom number formatting and it is going to be semicolon 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 three semicolons tells Excel not to show you the numbers and okay okay then apply and then okay again and now you can see even in the highlighted cells the numbers aren't visible but we can still see them in the formula bar okay and that is everything